through there on fresh bite and bada bing, mate. Unless you're pretty small compared to the others. Woo! Lovely. Woo! Whoa! Oh, that's big. Thank God I haven't got dentures. Ah! <laughs> Yummy. Welcome back, folks. I want to come here because my target is King George Whiting. If not, the big sand whiting would do me fine. So let's get into it. Right, so I'm just rigging up here. I've got a Paternoster rig. I've got a flasher hook here. I used this last week and I put um, a nice whiting on it. Just put it down here for a bit of a red troop and a bit of squid. Right, first drop of the day. Now I'm trying to find sand and weed because of my tennis species is King George Whiting. I'm trying to position the boat. See what felt like an eternity for my first hookup. Ah, and that's not what I wanted. Butterfish. So that tells me I'm in the weed. That rod's going off. Yeah. Yeah. And the water is so dirty, I, I can't even see if I'm over weed or sand. I'm just using the sounder, and it, yeah, it looks like a bit of weed and sand, but a bit of boom boom. It's a flathead. So I'm on the sand now, it's great. And the bites have just been rare. They are, I just hate complaining. Maybe I've got one here, I'm not too sure. I doubt it because they're not that fighting as much. Oh yeah, no, that's definitely King George. Oh, no, he's not, he's a, whoo, he's a big juicy sand whiting. Big one. Yeah, beauty. <laughs> How's that? Lovely one. 35 centimeters, I mean, they're small compared to the King George, but that's, that is a big species. I'm so glad I found him. Make sure the bait Back on the hook. Right, now I'm excited. You just do one or two fish and you get the drilling back in, you feel good. Before I was actually getting a bit miserable, you know the deal. If you're fishing out there, even on the shore, that first fish is, whoo, is great. Second, third, second fish is alright. Third fish, now this one here, I mean, I, I can't call them. Because these whiting are just huge. That definitely fought like a King George. And that's another fine specimen of a of a sandy. Southern school whiting, we call them here in WA. It's a perler. Love it. Bit of boom boom here. I just let my line out and then bang. It's actually got a bit of bit of a backbone. Oh my god, he could be a target species. Oh. Woo! Yeah. So that's awesome. Ah! Lucky came off <laughs> on the boat side. Right. Oh man, they call them kidney slappers for a reason. They just won't stop. I don't want to throw them overboard. That one is going off. So without further ado, that's a beautiful fine specimen of King George. You've got to measure them up, this is definitely a size. So hopefully I'll get a few more and the troop is worth it. Getting a lot of a couple of bites, we've just got to be quick. I'm letting more line out too, because we're drifting a fair bit. So it's tricky. Tap tap, there we go. Yeah, so the minute I feel that pressure, fish on. Yeah, another juicy whiting. Awesome. So they're out there. You actually got to fish for them. You can't just throw your hook in overboard and wait for them to hook up. Well, this one's off. No, I think I lost him. That's why I think having two rides is not worth it because you just. Missing, missing hookups, your bait goes. 
The hooks do get blunt, especially when you catch a couple, and you should change them, but this one's off. Here we go, here we go. Another fine one here. Pretty small compared to the others. This took a size. <laughs> Got a bit of weight this one here. Could be another fine. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Awesome. So the flasher, the flasher rig, done it. I did on the other episode, and that's great. It's a big hook too. Probably a size two. Going for a. Nice big pump riding. Love it. This has got to be a good one here. It's got to be a good riding. Yeah, good riding. And he went for the flasher rig. Awesome. Oh, eject. Yeah, so having the rod in your hand is a lot better than having it join the drift and, and hoping for the best. Especially for riding, you really want to try and fill those bites and, and strike it. Bit more curry this one. Oh that's another fat one. Big chunky look. Yeah. It's like a hot dog style man. That's that's a lovely specimen. Awesome, just threw down fresh bait and butter bing mate. Oh here we go. Oh here we go. Just had to give us some slack. Got a bit of a oh good size. Good size. Oh, it's tall for that's why. Oh, two huge ones. Oh, yeah. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Really felt that weight. Oh, I thought it was King George, you know, but way too wide. I'm actually going to go over the same spot. And this sea anchor's really saved the trip again. Woo! It's just going to get worse. It's not bad west you got to go for it, go along it, but when it becomes southwest, you'll be head on. As I said, to, as I said to a subscriber, actually that I follow, is a bit of a mate. He, he texts me. He goes, "Dom, you going fish tomorrow?" I said, "Yeah, absolutely." And then for some reason, I checked the forecast, and it was totally changed to what I thought. Anyway, cut a long story short, he said, nah, it's a bit too choppy, getting a bit messy. I said to him, thank God I haven't got dentures. Well, they're bouncing up and down. Now, this one's acting a bit strange. <laughs> it's not strange at all. Just a fine specimen here. Ooh. Oh yeah. I see the backbone this one here. Oh lovely. Oh yeah. Lovely. Oh, oh. oh finally I've got a Got a fish. There you go. That's not a fish. That's a that's a big bertha. Beautiful, beautiful whiting. Well, I'm glad I got that one. Um, the wind's actually starting to die down, which means it's going to swing. I'm going to risk it. Yep. It's a good one here. Yeah, nice tonker, whiting, good size. Got a good one here. Yeah, another fine specimen of the whiting. Yeah, absolute pearler of the whiting. Oh, that's big. That's going to get close to my PB. Oh. Absolute fine one. 
almost a King George whiting size. Love it. Yeah, so this whiting here is half a centimetre smaller than my PV, which went 38 centimetres. So this is massive. <laughs> Alright guys, so um, I'm going to head back to show you the final catch. It's actually not too bad. So, oh, start of the show is King George. That's what I wanted to go for. I'll put your measure him up. It's gone 48 centimetres. I mean, that's big. I was saying, KG went 48 centimetres. So when I caught the other sand whiting that went 38, which is almost equivalent to my big one last time, it's, it actually seems a lot smaller. But the King George are just absolutely a great species to target. I was just so happy I got the one. Anyway, better get out of here and uh, we'll see you home for the cook-up. Day. It's been in the fridge, I've already gutted it, scaled it. Now for the cook up, I'm just going to fillet this and try and get as much flesh off the bone as possible. And what I'm going to do as well is keep the rib cage because I don't want to waste not one bit of this flesh here. I could almost include all this. So I'll cut the back here. Awesome. How's that for a fillet? There's a few bones there. As I said, I'm going to leave them in there. I'm going to leave the skin on. So there you have it, two big jumbo sized fillets of King George whiting. Got the frame and the head. There's a bit of meat there. I mean, I could make a soup out of this or I could make some sort of um, sauce. Keep all this and cook it up. What I'm going to do is just quickly roast this. Just, just start the cooking process. What? There you go. Get it all caramelised and then I'll put it into a pot and make a nice sauce or a stock out of it. Turn it upside down here. I just want a lot just, just to get a bit of charring on it. Right, so we'll put this into the pot here with water. Just let it boil it up a bit. Make a nice little fish stock. Right, so here comes the fillets. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil and just do that so the skins get boiled as well. The grill is nice and warm. You can hear that sizzling. I'll put the skin down. Fantastic. The salt, I didn't put it in here before. So I'm letting this sizzle down because it's white wine just a little bit. Two dollops of uh, cream. Let that simmer away, make it nice and thick. Reduce it down. I've got a teaspoon of flour in here, I've got to it up just a bit, I just want to make it thick in a short amount of time. Alright, so that sauce is looking pretty good. I'm just going to pour the 
someone, follow it. Let it sit for a few minutes. Flesh to get into the flesh. Right, just sprinkle some chives over it. Oh, how about that? King George Whiting, grilled on the hot plate, made in that reduced sauce with the actual King George frames. This is going to be yummy. Mm. Spot on. King George Whiting is very neutral. It's actually cold because I cooked this 10 minutes before I actually did the sauce, but absolutely fantastic cooked to perfection right there bit of sauce dom up at anyway if you like what i'm doing and you'll see more of this you know what to do subscribe like it give us a comment see you next time take it easy fish taka fish taka fish taka man Fish, tucker, fish, tucker, the fish, tucker man.